and Soko. Let's, let's just put him back on the PR again. Yeah, he was. And Spargo. He <laughs> was 9.5 in the PR season. Spargo is ranked number two next to Void in the PR season. Yeah. And of course, Chad got second at this past weekend's San Diego Regional. Yeah. Second, yeah. First was Spargo with that young Cloud. Man, his Cloud's crazy good. But Spargo, or Chad's also not good. I always wonder, uh, when does he go inkling over Palu? I don't know. I, I just don't know if he's, like, Palu main inkling secondary or, like, vice versa. I think it depends on some matchups where he might feel comfortable with one or the other. I, I totally respect him going with inkling because he has oh, space. Damn. Back air is pretty fast. Frame 3, right? It's pretty hard to work with because of the fact that it's disjoint. You have the speed to move around Mario, but also the ability to go ahead and get on, get on the of Mario. Versus Palutena, who does have the combo tools in the Nair, but seeing how Palutena got nerfed a bit, I feel like this might be more of a comfort for for Chad. Maybe. Yeah, I still feel like was really made that matchup hard with that back air. Ooh. Oh, nice. Even got the, got the mash out. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think that Palu back air was amazing. Mario oh yeah, and, most that definitely. and that didn't get changed. So I don't know. We'll see. His English is doing alright right now. I don't think he might not need the Palu. Until yeah. that. that oh, think, think, think about Palu though. She's a back the character where he is. <laughs> Even yeah. though her back air does have his ability, you don't see a lot of Palu using it to approach neutral. Versus something like Inkling, where you would see a lot of backers coming in this approach. And like I said, having that disjoint really can make things suffer against Mario. I'll throw those nice. Simple combo here at the 30% here. Chad's looking for the stock. I mean, he's got the percent on him, but can he finally finish it off? He might have been looking for a back throw. Shout out to Shadow right now. I mean, I gotta say, like, I haven't seen him much in this game, but like, he's looking really strong. Oh, there goes the roller. Peace. It always breaks my heart when people get hit by that move. I feel like, you, like pre sometimes. Pre pass you broke my heart, man. Yeah, it was. It was. Crazy. I just feel like you had like, oh damn, he's going, he's going a little bit crazy. That was a lot of momentum from two uppers immediately putting it to single percent. Like you said he's going crazy for a reason. But when I see Yingling doing down there like in neutral to start like combos, that's when you know they're going a little bit off the rails. But it worked out pretty well for him. Oh. Alright. Nice. nice. Oh, gets him right before the he almost here. got the upbeat by spike too. That would have been sick. Oh. That angle was a little bit risky from uh, Shadow. It's, so, it's like hard for me to call him Shadow because his name is Gohan for like years. And then okay. I, he changed it because there was a Gohan who was pr but now that Gohan who was pr is no longer around as much, I guess. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh, up smash? Oh. Back throw? Of course, of course. Alright, how are you going to edge guard though? Edge guarding inkling, lol. Oh wait, what? Oh, he messed with his ledge trump. Lost all stage control. And now he's off stage. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Chad pretty much bucked this back where I have all the three where Shadow has to lead here. And now 144 to 132. Oh. Chad pretty much just reads an opportunity. He doesn't get it there, but one back will put him off stage for one yet again. And I mentioned earlier, right? Like having that disjoint, having that back here, that speed. The movement that you have with. There's a lot against Mario, but finally the back throw. And Shadow claims the throw with a sock lead. He wants that juicy up throw down there for Mario. I, yeah. feel it. I feel it right now, but can he get back to the stage? That's what really matters. Nice. He covers He covers the, the opportunity in case Shadow's going to go for a roll get up. Ooh, nice. The classic. Smash four back throw. Roll back. Catch the neutral get up. Easy back throw. Oh my gosh. He like he got out of the jab, but just kidding. He's going to take 20 from holding A button. Ooh. Oh, and take a little bit of, take a little bit more than 20 here from getting buried. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Okay, okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. Hold on, hold on. I was about to say that that would have been some crazy DI for him to die like that. Still, though, that was uh, a lot of damage from a chat. Ooh. Good back air. Nice. Looking to move in with the grab. This is yeah. Nice. It was a little harder to chase the DBI there. Nice. I'll throw. There's any oh. up there. Nice. Done. I think the percent's pretty much out of there, yeah. Yeah, he was out the window. Man, this is really, really rough for Shadow to get. 
Yeah. And Chad knows, like, he kind of has to move in and out, find a whiff on a top of shooting against Mario. Oh, he wanted that out smash out. Oh. oh, and he almost caught the directional air dodge in, too, because Shadow was ready for the forward air. That was a really good anti air up, so. But... Too much out of it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Nice recovery. Oh, Chad. wow. No forward tilt. Dang, wake up, bounce. Oh. Oh, this is max close. Oh, what are you? Oh, no oh. way. The no. head up will go <laughs> through the roller. Right I can't believe it. Because, like, Chuck was like, all right, he's just mashing. He's just charging a smash. This is a free roller, but then he released it right when it connected them. That was actually a Hail Mary from Shadow that just worked. Yeah. That, I don't know. That was like some game watch status where they used to be charging the up smash and neutral. Get the invincibility like, and everything. It's like, I dare you to punish this. Oh yeah, Palu's out. Oh yeah. Yeah, Chad didn't like that one bit. Ooh. Using that shield now. What you want in this matchup? So good versus Mario. Just yeah. Keep out range. You can out range him in and he's trying to challenge you with a move as well. We kind of saw this matchup play out really repeatedly for Palu in her favor when we saw the buzz versus Dark Rosie. Down throw, that'll change up a little bit here. Able to get the raw back here. Simply because down throw, knockback. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he caught dude. the jump. He only took 0.7%. It's almost like Jack just started with Palu. Oh. Jack is the. Uh, more than other, dang that counter still sucks, but more than any other Palu I see, he likes to do the raw uh, nares after he gets uh, a nares stream. Just so he gets more damage. Like, or more nares. Anymore. I know he could probably get like double nair up there, up there for more. For sure. I don't know, just a little thing I noticed Jack does. That's pretty cool. Down throw. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to get a back throw. Nice touch. Back throw? No, both for down throw instead. Oh, interesting. Uh, I would have, see, I would have loved the back throw there because you still get the stage control and the edge guard as well. Yeah. Especially at that percent, even though it's Mario pretty far off. Maybe he wanted to get the platform chase with the up smash and get like the yeah. board smash and maximum. And that's what it looked like. Yeah. Either or, this is a thing. Damn good to for Chad right now. Oh, we caught the jump too? Auto red echo? Nice. Oh. Just to go in there with the line. That was a good recovery. And Oh, nice. That was a really good catch. You have extra frames to punish up. Uh, Alright, you going under the stage. Okay. Forgot Mario to do that. Oh, bro, on God, he better carry that back if you're gonna punish Tommy. Recovery. Oh nice. man, he's just using the F2 out the ledge by the way. Oh, and he caught the snipe. Immediately. Good stuff, Chad. Nice, he knows. You kinda wanna wait out the Mario invincibility because you don't wanna get a Mario free grab. Nice kind of costs him up to avoid getting hit from the out of shield option. Chad doing really well down to the catch the landing here and he's pretty much setting himself in the back air. Doesn't find the game for until instead. I mean he's been so comfortable for it till right, which he's been catching channels so long. Yeah. And there's a back air finally coming out. Oh, wow, no. we got past Someone out got past Palu's insane grab range. But yeah, there's a space in the back there. It's like so difficult for Mario to get around. Yeah. Down tilt? No. Especially, back especially here. if you're not parrying. Oh. oh, how are you going to land here? You Unfortunately, don't, you don't. Yeah. Shaq puts it up 1 1 to piece here against Shadow. I guess now we're starting to see why he finds the comfort that he's going to do. Sorry, call it in. They both have long color hair. Except Lucina has blue hair and Palutena is rocking the e-girl green. Why does it have to be e-girl? Why do you have to be e-girl? Huh? It's a common color, color I see with e-girls, man. Green? I don't, I don't, I don't, it's green. Just tell me I'm wrong, just tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me I'm wrong. Oh wait. I just don't want to argue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, Palutena pretty much stopping off anything that Shadow had with Mario. A lot of good opportunities for him to also get the two frames down tilts. I mentioned earlier how like Palu's down throw has been nerfed in terms of knockback at certain percent. But you can see that Chad is still able to get it against Shadow. I wasn't really sure if it was DI dependent there or not. But it's still worth playing. You know, it's a certain percent where you can't where it's not consistent anymore. Yeah. Still a really good character though. Yeah, and definitely like. I feel like the nerf is just more that other characters have more of a fighting chance. Three, four, two. 
Alright, FD from Shadow. Let's see if he can adapt to the Palu here. You know, I don't know. I think Palu still isn't a very popular character, like, as far as the Cal goes. Yeah, we, um, I think we've always been in the, the land of, like, Starbucks characters. Yeah. It was pretty popular here to take out Charlie, Larry, yeah. just name a few of them. We have, of course, K9. I do see a lot of players still in the as well. Yeah, I know Void and Larry are, like, recently picking up Palu, and, of course, John Jay is, like, the best. So, like, I, I, I uh, if you want to call him Solo Palu, I know he plays the rest of the Yeah. But, dang, that was a really, really unfortunate thing. I don't know. Like, when you SD against someone and, like, you hadn't even had a chance to, like, you know, figure them out, really, or get any momentum, it just, I don't know, outside giving them a free stock, your opponent just, like, gets to continue going in on you. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. Well, hopefully, Shadow can find something here. A couple up airs into 81. He's got the edge to himself and pull it down for them. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that down throw forward at Earth after the game isn't that great, but nice. Catch on the roll. On the switch spot down throw right there. Yeah. Up right now. Oh. I like it too. What a good reaction from Chad. Yeah. Really knowing, okay, he's going to get a little bit of a desert fine. Oh, that's always tilting when you like get hit by the very last part of how he's there after it crosses up your shield and you get scooped up in front of her. It, like, that's so good. Nice. Dang. You're using an empty hop too. Yeah. Facing the back there. One more time. He's rolling in on it, which I don't blame him. I mean, that's so much range. Yep, and he thought he could jump in on it too, but unfortunately, he can definitely go for an aerial back oh air. My back air is back aerial. Air. See, I think the last four or five moves he hit were just all back, back air. Back yep. Good knockback, good intangibility. Good opportunity to catch your opponent here. Shadow pretty much left from the front for his money. Oh. Down to the bar bear, yep. More back air to continue. So easy. I don't want to say easy, but like. How do you get so many top on grabs on him? Yeah. Because they're just like conditioned with shield. Exactly. Because of her short hop aerials. And her back air is pretty much one of those tools to help condition it, right? Just, like I said earlier, you have to fight that intangibility. And the way that Palu kind of moves herself forward and moves her, her shifts her hitbox, it's really difficult to punish at times as well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Shadow's getting like these straight hits that leads to like decent strings, but nothing that gives them strength control really. Yeah. Finally, though, with an opportunity to control, good use of that small empty hop of setting up for a small back air. Uh, he wanted the left jump there, but no opportunity just yet. I like it though. I mean, at this opportunity, right, Shadow kind of knows, you know what? Uh, Chai is going to go for a lot of out of, out of shield options as well, so I might as well try to read it. Yep, and unfortunately. City. Yeah, really good stuff conditioning the rolling from Red so 